Hello, this is Brad Lucy with the Sarah's Services. Today we're going to review how to properly install exterior and interior handrails. Before we get started, let's review the supplies, tools, and materials we'll need to get the job done. So here are the supplies we'll need for interior handrail installation. Hammer, cordless power tools, drill, saw, tape measure, stud finder, materials for marking, you'll need specialty screws, fasteners, small and large level, you need a miter saw and a hand saw, also need a speed square. So here are the tools and supplies we need for our exterior handrail installation. Iron uprights and rails, four flange posts and boots, specialty screws and fasteners, a sledgehammer and brick to tamp down the ground, post hole diggers, spade shovel, we need four by four posts for our uprights, one by twos to help secure the installation. Now that we have our supplies, let's go forward with the interior handrail installation. For this one, we're gonna install on the left side so we don't block the access to the door on the right. The top of your handrail should be directly above the leading edge of the top step. The bottom edge of the handrail should be above the leading edge of the bottom step. What makes a secure handrail is the right height, the proper material, and proper fasteners. First step, we want to measure the height of our handrail. We want to be at 34 inches, no higher than 36. Same measurement at the bottom. Position the handrail along the wall so we can make appropriate marks where we're going to install the brackets. After determining the height of the handrail, we need to find the studs behind the walls. Once you locate the studs, you install your brackets. Now we have our brackets installed. We can position the handrail to secure the remaining pieces of the bracket. Now let's secure the bottom bracket. Now that we have our interior handrail installed, we do want to test it, make sure it's secure and safe. What is worse than no handrail at all is a handrail that fails. Now that the interior is complete, let's move on to the exterior installation. First step, we want to measure and cut to size. Now that we have our rail cut to size, Let's install the uprights. Once we have the rough positions, we can now install the top upright. We're gonna drill pilot holes for our upright post. Now that we've drilled our holes, we can install the anchors for the brackets. Let's install the bracket. Now that we've determined it's plumb, we can secure the boot bracket to the concrete step. So we have the boot anchored to the step. We can install our upright. We can make marks on the concrete where we can drill our pilot holes. Got our anchor bolts in place, and we have installed our flange bracket over our anchor bolts. Now we can put our nuts on top of that. We have our brackets and our upright posts in place. We can attach the handrail. Now we have the handrail in place, we can tighten the set screws and button everything up. The installation is complete. The next step is to test and make sure it's safe and secure. When installing handrails, it's important to be aware of the local code requirements. If installing a missing handrail on a location where there is no evidence of a previous handrail present, we require that you provide a copy of the local handrail code. Photo documentation is important. We require photos of the front, rear, and side views of the property, photos of materials used, before photos showing that the area is missing or it's a damaged rail, after photos showing completed work, and after photos taken from a distance to see the entire work completed. Here at Acero, we can't stress safety enough. We want our handrails to be safe and secure. What's worse than no handrail at all is a handrail that fails. This is Brad Lucy with Acero Services. We want to thank you for watching. For more information, visit acero24.com.